Good morning all. Today we will learn another morphological operation that is extraction of connected component. So let us consider we have an input image A and for this input image A, for this input image A we have to extract the connected component Y. In order to perform this, uh, in order to perform this operation, that is the extraction of connected component, we will perform an iterative algorithm, and the iterative algorithm it is given over here. It is x k equals to x k minus one dilation with the stretching element b, and the result of the dilation operation we will perform the intersection with the original image a, and this iteration we have to repeat it for a number of iteration. That is k equals to 1, 2, 3. And this iterative algorithm will terminate when we reach the point of convergence. That is when two consecutive iterations gives the same output. That is x k equals to x k minus 1. Two iterative operations gives the same result. Our algorithm terminates. And when our algorithm terminates, y is equals to x of k. So when the point of convergence meet, when our algorithm terminate, xk it is my uh, extracted comp uh, xk it is my extraction of connected component for this given input image A. To understand this operation that is extraction of connected component let us take an example an input digital image it is given to us and for this given input image a we will perform the operation that is extraction of connected component and for this operation we will use this as the structuring element in this structuring element the center pixel it is logic one and its eight number root pixel are also logic one so this is our input image a the algorithm starts by considering our initial point x0. So the algorithm starts by considering a pixel p in this given connected component set. So let us assume, so let us assume this is my initial point p. So at the 0th iteration, we have considered a particular pixel p and we will mark it as x0 and in image this x0 i will represent by using this indexing number that is 0 then our algorithm says then the algorithm of extraction of component uh, extraction of connected component xk is equals to xk minus 1 dilation with the structuring element B intersection with the original image A. So this is this operation we have performed in the 0th iteration for first iteration that is for k equals to 1. In this equation in place of k we will substitute 1. Our equation is reduces to x1 is equals to x0 dilation with the structuring element b intersection with the original image a so what does this equation says first we in order to compute x1 first we have to compute x0 dilation with the structuring element b and the result of this dilation operation we have to perform intersection with the original image a so at x0 at x0, we have to perform the dilation operation with this structuring element. So dilation operation, it means the center of this structuring element we will place at this point and we will perform the logical OR, or operation. So if we place the center of this structuring element at this point and if we perform the logical OR operation, so as a result of dilation operation, all these points, all these eight neighborhoods points, 
belonging to this point x0 will become logic 1 after performing the dilation operation. Now all these dilated point we have to perform the intersection with the original image A. So if you perform the intersection of all these dilated point with this original image A only this pixel, this pixel and this pixel satisfy the intersection operation and hence only these three pixels will be the part of X1. And for X1 and to represent X1 in this image, I have used this indexing number 1. So the structuring element, the center of this structuring element, I place it here. I perform the logical OR operation for the dilation operation. So all these 8 neighborhood points will become logic 1 after performing the log after performing the dilation operation. And if you perform the intersection with the original image A, only this three point will satisfy the intersection operation and hence only this three point will be the part of X1 or in other words we can say only this three point will be considered as the set X1. Now our first iteration is over. Next for the next iteration that is for k equals to 2. In this equation we will substitute k equals to 2. So, so our equation is reduces to x2 is equals to x1 dilation with the structuring element B intersection with the original image A. So what does this equation says in order to compute x2? At x1 we have to perform the dilation operation and the dilation result we have to do intersection with the original image A. So at each so at each x1 point we will perform the dilation operation and the dilated result we will perform the intersection with the original image A. So at this point, at this point if I perform the dilation operation with this structuring element by keeping the center of this structuring element at this point and if you perform the logical OR operation, all this point, all this point will become logic 1 after performing the dilation operation and if you perform the intersection with the original image A, only these two points will satisfy the intersection criteria and hence only these two points will be the part of my next iteration that is my, uh, that is the output of the second iteration. So only these two points, so only these two points will satisfy the intersection criteria and hence only these two points will be the part of X2. So in image I will represent it by using this indexing number that is x2 that is indexing number 2. Similar operation if I repeat for this x1 if I consider its 8 neighborhood after performing the dilation operation with this structuring element b at this point and if I consider its 8 neighborhood only this pixel and this pixel satisfy the intersection criteria so only this will be the part of x2 and in image I will represent it with this uh, indexing number 2. Similarly, similar operation if I repeat for this x1 dilation operation with this structuring element b and if I target its 8 neighborhood no new pixel will be added. So our second operation is over, second iteration is over, next we will go for the third iteration. For third iteration that is for k equals to 3 in this equation in place of k we will substitute 3 the equation become x3 is equals to x2 dilation with the structuring element b intersection with the original image a so what does this equation says in order to compute x3 we have to do dilation at x2 and the dilated result we have to perform the intersection with the original image a so at x2 we have to perform the dilation operation with this structuring element B. So at this X2, if I perform the dilation operation with this structuring element B, we will target the 8 neighborhood pixel of this X2. So only this pixel satisfy the intersection criteria. So this is the part of X3. In image, I will represent it 
with indexing 3. Similarly, if I perform the dilation operation at this point x2 using this structuring element, if I target its 8 neighborhood, we will find only this pixel satisfy the intersection criteria. So we will mark it as the output x3 and in image we will represent it with the indexing 3. Similarly, if I repeat the operation for this x2 with this structuring element, if I perform the dilation operation, we will target its 8 neighborhood pixel. So we will find only this pixel satisfy the intersection criteria. So this pixel will be the part of x3 and in image we will represent it with 3. Similarly, for this 2, for this x2, if we perform the dilation operation with this structuring element b, we will target its 8 neighborhood. So only these two pixels will satisfy the intersection criteria and hence these two pixels will be the part of x3. So our third iteration is over. Next we will perform the fourth iteration that is k equals to 4. So for k equals to 4 in this equation in place of k we will substitute 4. The equation is reduced to x4 is equals to x3 dilation with the structuring element b intersection with the original image a. So at so what does this equation says in order to compute x4 at x3 we have to perform the dilation with the structuring element b and the dilated result we have to perform intersection with the original image a so at x3 let's suppose at this point if i perform the dilation operation with this structuring element b we will target the eight neighborhood pixel for this pix uh, we will target the eight neighborhood pixels for this x3 so after performing the intersection operation only this pixel will satisfy the intersection criteria so we will mark it as x4 and in image we will represent it with 4. Similarly if I repeat the operation with this x3 that is the dilation operation with this structuring element b if I target its 8 neighborhood no new pixels will be added. Next for this x3 if we perform the dilation operation with this structuring element b for this x3 we have to target its 8 neighborhood pixels and after performing the intersection with the original image a only this pixel satisfy the intersection criteria so we will represent it at x4 and in image we will represent it with the indexing 4 similarly for this x3 if we perform if we perform the dilation operation with this structuring element b considering its 8 neighborhood pixels so this, this, this and this pixel, this pixel, this pixel, this pixel and this pixel will satisfy the intersection criteria with the original image A. So all these four pixels will be the part of X4 and in image we will represent it with 4, with this indexing number 4. Next. If you repeat the operation with this x3 dilation operation with this structuring element b followed by intersection with the original image a, no new pixel will be added. So with this our fourth iteration is over. Next move on to the fifth iteration. For fifth iteration we will write k equals to 5. In this equation in place of k we will substitute 5. So it becomes x5 is equals to x4 dilation with the structuring element B intersection with the original image A. So what does this equation says? In order to compute x5 at x4 we have to compute uh, at x4 we have to perform the dilation operation and the dilated result we have to perform intersection with the original image A. So let's start first for this 4 First, for this x4, if we perform the dilation operation with this structuring element b, we have to target its 8 neighborhood pixel and on 
performing intersection with the original image A, no new pixel will be added. Next, we will repeat the operation for this for this uh, x4 that is dilation operation with this structuring element b for this x4 we will perform dilation operation with this structuring element b we have to target the 8 number root pixel for this x4 and on performing intersection operation and for all these 8 number root pixels which is the output of the dilation operation if you perform the intersection with the original image A, you will find only one pixel satisfy the intersection criteria that is this pixel. So this is the part of our fifth iteration output that is the X5 and in image we will represent it with 5. Similarly, if you repeat the operation with this X4 dilation operation with this structuring element B, we have to target it 8 neighbor root pixels. And among these 8 number root pixels, if you perform the intersection operation with this original image A, this pixel will satisfy the intersection criteria and hence this pixel will be the part of fifth iteration output and in image we will represent it with 5. So if I perform the operation, if I perform the similar operation with this x4, with this x4 and with this x4, no new pixel will be added. And if I perform the next iteration, that is for k equals to 6, if I perform the next iteration for k equals to 6, that is in this equation, in this equation, in place of k, we will substitute 6. So x6 is equals to x5 dilation with the structuring element B, intersection with the original image A. So on sixth iteration, for 6th iteration, we have to compute the dilation operation at the at x5 with the structuring element B. And those dilated result, we have to perform the intersection with the original image A. So at x5, if we perform, at x5, if we perform the dilation operation with this structuring element B, it means at x5, if we perform the dilation operation with this structuring element B, no new pixel will be added. So the result of so the result of x6 and x5 are similar and this is called as the point of convergence. So when the point of convergence meet, we will stop our iterative algorithm and we have identified the connected component present in the input image A. So the process, so the process of extraction of connected component is as follows. In the initially, initially we have to consider a starting point P in the connected component set and we will mark this pixel P as X0. Then we have to consider the structuring element and we have to perform this iterative operation till we reach the point of convergence and when the point of convergence meet we will stop our uh, iterative algorithm and we have identified we have detected the connected component present in the input image a thank you